Okay guys, today I'll be showing you how to clear junk or trash files on your computer and how to delete previous uh, installations of Windows. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so this first method you can do is go to the start menu and then, then you want to just go over to the computer my computer or on Windows 8 will be this PC and once you're here you just go to the system hard drive here where Windows is on usually it has a little Windows signal there you just right click on it and then you go to properties and once you're here you just want to hit the disk cleanup okay now it'll calculate uh, what how what it can clean up and then this will come up now you just want to tick all the boxes because that will clean the most stuff so I'll do that now. Okay, so once you've done that, you just want to hit OK. And delete files. And all these files are ones you can delete without affecting your computer. So this is really good. This might take a couple minutes, usually not, unless you have a lot of files to clean up. Okay, uh, another way is go to the Start menu and you can type in Uninstall Program. You can click on it there. Or, another way you can do it is by going to the Start menu, then Control Panel. And then what you can do here, once I find it, is go to Programs and Features. And then you can uninstall or change a program here. Now you just want to go through here. Some people have a lot of stuff, but I don't have a lot of stuff because I've cleaned out most of the stuff. So if you want to uninstall something, you can click on it once, and then hit Uninstall. Or you can just double click on it and this should happen. So I don't need this because that was my old Wi-Fi stick. And yes, you can completely remove all of its features. And then it will try and remove it. Or uninstall. I'll just speed up this process as it may take a couple minutes. Okay, there we go. And finished. So uh, that that's the second way you can do it. Now this third option is very good. Um, it, yeah, this is what you can do if you've upgraded or downgraded uh, Windows. So up upgraded, sorry, from Windows Vista to Windows 7, and I realised that there wasn't much space left on the hard drive, and I wanted that space so my com computer could continue to go quite fast. So what I did, if you go to Start, and you type Free Up, and it'll come up. Free up disk space by deleting, by deleting unnecessary files. Okay, once you're here, you just select the, should usually be C drive, the one with the little windows, because that's where Windows is installed to your computer. Hit OK. It'll calculate. Sometimes it does take a couple minutes. Okay, once you're here, you want to go clean up system files. And then go to the hard drive again. Hit OK. And usually this will take a little bit longer. So just bear with me for a second, and I'll probably speed this up for you guys. Okay, so once you're here, as you can see at the moment, I'll refresh that. Oh, sorry, I have 6.42 gigabytes free of 72.4. I'll minimize that. And here, you will see that I have some things here. Okay, so you just want to tick all these. Uh, that's the previous Windows installation, installations, because it tries to keep it in case something goes terribly wrong with Windows and you have to reinstall with the old uh, files. So you just want to go tick everything here, even if it says zero bytes. I always just tick it just to make sure. Okay, and once everything's ticked, including the previous Windows version, you just hit OK. And delete files, which is permanently deleted. And this will take a while, so I will actually speed this process up for you guys. Okay, now it's nearly done. We'll just wait the last, hopefully, couple seconds for that to finish off. Okay, it looks like we're done. Now I'll go back into my computer. I'll just close that first so we can do a refresh. And look at that, 31.3 gigabytes free. 
Now this is nearly half full. Uh, or actually more than half full. But you'll see once you do this, if you have had a previous uh, Windows installation on it, uh, you will realize that your computer will go faster because it's having to do less thinking. Okay, and this uh, option you can do is the disk defragmenter. So the disk defragmenter up the top here. Okay, you just want to go click on that one. Okay, once you're here, you want to just click on the one you want to fragment. Okay, so f first before I tell you too much about that, when you disk defrag, uh, when you do the disk defragment, uh, when you run it on your computer or hard drive, when you, uh, what it'll do, when you delete files from your computer, there'll be kind of, I guess you can say, hidden folders that still stay there, which will actually make your computer run a little bit slower. Um, so if you get rid of them, when you're searching for things and just doing general things in common like that, it won't try and search for that certain folder because it'll, I mean, sorry, it'll have a lot more, it'll need a lot more time to search for that current folder because um, it'll search through them all. So, uh, yeah, it will make your computer faster and it will actually clear a little bit of space. So I'm going to system hard drive and you just do fragment disk and it will start analyzing and it'll do the passes and disk uh, fragmentate it. So uh, that's the uh, option you can do, which is really quite handy. I'd usually do that at least once a week because it really helps. Okay, now there's one more thing, the one last thing uh, you can do. So I'll just go to it. Okay, it is called the decrepifier. file. Okay, PC decrepifier. file. Uh, I'll have a link to this program down in the description. You can use the disk cleanup in your, if you right click properties and disk clean up, but uh, apparently this has been, the D PC decrepifier has been known to work really well, so I highly recommend that one to you. Check out my Twitter page in the description, uh, and again I'll have the link for the PC decrepifier in there as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment if it if you've had a past Windows installation and it actually freed up a heap of space because that would be pretty cool to hear if, if my uh, ways actually of doing this worked. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this actually helped you and I'll see you guys in another video. See you in the next one.